1000. What's in your plate? Plate. What's in your plate? GTS. What's in your plate? Big plate. What's in your plate? What's in your plate? What's in your plate? What's in your plate? GTS. What's in your plate? Big GTF. Kisa. What's good? Another day. Another video. GTF was good, man. What's going on, man? It's a new day, alright? GTF, man, I ain't gonna lie, man. I think something's wrong with me, man. I think something's really wrong with me. Y'all let me know if something's wrong with me in the comments. Because I woke up this morning, you feel me? Like the alarm clock woke me up at 4 something. I was laying there and I said, man, you know what? I'm gonna just relax. I'm gonna just chillax today. I ain't gonna do nothing. I ain't gonna move a muscle. You feel me? And somehow, I find myself out here getting ready to do another video. <laughs> Something must be wrong with me, bro. Like, I don't know, like, what's going on. Like, I just can't chill. Like, I just can't just lay there. Like, I just, I gotta be doing something. You understand? I think something wrong with me, bro. I don't know what's going on. But anyway, with that being said, man, today we're doing another 24-hour video, man. I appreciate all the love we've been getting. You understand me? I appreciate all y'all. appreciate the whole GTF, you feel me? If you don't know what GTF means, that's the Grub Tent family. You all right? So yeah, we doing another 24 hour video and y'all know that I'm a Haitian. And for those that don't know, I am I'm a Haitian, you feel me? My mom a Haitian, my mom was born in Haiti, my dad was born in Haiti, they came over to the United States, I was born here in Miami, Florida, you understand me? So I'm Haitian American, you feel me? So I grew up in a Haitian household, you feel me? So growing up in a Haitian household, we had Haitian food, you know what I mean? Haitian breakfast, Haitian lunch, Haitian dinner. So today we doing a 24 hour video on Haitian food, you feel me? 24 hour video on Haitian food, that's what we doing today. We gonna Get some Haitian breakfast and Haitian lunch or what have you and things like that. You understand me? So yeah, man. That's what we get ready for, y'all. Let go! Alright fam, we pulling up to the first stop, y'all alright? We about to get that Haitian party. Alright fam, first stop, just caught two for some Haitian breakfast, you feel me? We about to get that breakfast pate going on, you heard? We ain't here, you heard? Alright fam, we got the grub. Y'all already know grub on site. Don't cause no fight. Alright fam, we in the whip yard and we got the grub yard. Got my doors. Time to set up Grub Tip Mobile Studios. Y'all know the vibes. Got that set up. All right, fam, so yeah, we doing the 24 hours, eating nothing but Haitian food, you understand me? Um, so we starting off with the breakfast pot things, you heard? Uh, I remember growing up in my household, in my, in my, in my parents' household, um, you know, for breakfast, you know, sometimes we eat pan coffee, you feel me? Pan coffee is like bread and coffee, Haitian bread. Uh, we used to go to Florida Bakery back then to get that Haitian bread. Uh, pan coffee, pan mumbai, pan mumbai, mumbai is peanut butter, you feel me? So pan mumbai, pan coffee, uh, us Haitians do eat spaghetti sometimes in the morning, make spaghetti with hot dogs in it. I know some people like that, like spaghetti and hot dogs. Yeah, spaghetti and hot dogs is, if you never had it, you gotta try it, you heard? 
Spaghetti and hot dogs is one of them. Pay our coffee, pay our mom, buy. Uh, what else? Ziffy. Ziffy is, uh, you know, scrambled eggs or fried eggs or whatever you want to call it. You know, everybody does scrambled eggs or what have you, but everybody have their different ways or different forms of making it. You know what I mean? In my, in my, in my parents' household, you know, they used to, uh, my mom used to, uh, really put that it piece in the fried eggs. It piece is like the seasoning, you know, special type of seasoning. Get that eggs really good flavor, you feel me? Had that egg. Which is why I'm so used to how my mom used to make the eggs or the scrambled eggs. I'm so used to it that way with the, you know, having so much flavor with the it piece, with the seasoning and stuff. That's why I'm, I'm spoiled. So that's why I don't eat everybody eggs. If it's like, you know, the eggs gotta have green peppers. They gotta have onions. They gotta have it piece. You feel me? That's why I'm spoiled. Like I can't just be eating any, anybody eggs. Like it don't, it don't taste right to me. You feel me? But yeah, another one too is pate. So that's what we got here. Feel me? Pate. Pate is uh, patties. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Uh, made, we you know, flour on the outside and um, meat on the inside. You know what I mean? You got pate, viande, pate, alonso. You feel me? Uh, what's another one? Pate, pate, pate viande, pate, alonso, pate, mori. You feel me? Things like that. Over here, we came to Chef's Katu because they got some good patties. Um, before we get into the patties, when I used to go to Florida Bakery back in the day, Florida Bakery, they used to have the pates. The pates used to be good, but the thing that, used to, that, I, that, that I didn't like about the pates, it was like more so flour than, than the meat. But these days now, we got these pates here, pate kodi, and you feel me, that's just katu, but them things are stuffed, you feel me? It's, you feel me, it's, it's like it's an even balance between the outside flour and, you know, the ingredients on the inside. So I went to Chef's Tattoo and I got two patties. Just for the damage report right here. I went to Chef's Tattoo over here in uh, Miramar, Florida. And I got two breakfast patties. I got one, well what I ordered was one sausage and one ham. Breakfast patties. And then these patties. So I got the two patties right here. This is the... I can't understand the handwriting. I think this one, this one right here says ham, so this one must be the sausage one. But then they give you the katu sauce, some type of special sauce called katu sauce. Um, the breakfast pot is. I took a picture here for to remember what's the ingredients on the inside. So with the breakfast pot there, you got scrambled eggs and cheese. Uh, so you can pick the different proteins. They have spicy sausage, bacon, hot dog, ham, salami, island salt. Island salt is some type of, I don't know, I don't really, is island salt some type of fish? I don't know, because I never liked island salt. I never eat island salt, I was never into island salt. But it's something of that sort, like a type of fish or some, something like that. But I got one ham and I got one spicy sausage. That's what I got here. I'm thinking this is the, this right here says, I believe this one says ham right here. I hope that's what it says. So this is what it looks like on the outside of pate kodi or I mean a lot of people make patties, everybody got their different ways of making patties. It's a nice size patty. One will definitely fill you up. I ain't gonna cap with y'all. It's very, it's very big. Definitely got some weight to it. I mean the other one, they look the same, so y'all see what's going on. Bro. And I ain't gonna lie for you to y'all, like for the drink, I just went somewhere and got me a coffee con leche because that's what I like drinking in the morning. So I got a coffee con leche right here. I love that coffee con leche, you heard? But yeah, man, y'all see it, man. That breakfast pate. Pate code, you heard? This supposed to be the ham, I think. Ham pate code, hit me, Y'all see that cheese for? B? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Got on my beard and stuff. Name five. See the ingredients on the inside? Yeah, this the most this the ham. This is most definitely the ham. I see the ham. I see the ham on sight, dude. Got the ham on there, got the egg, eggs in there. Very cheesy. I 
love it. Hey, DB. I'm away! You never had this before, you gotta try it. Hey, TB. Mm. Out of shell, crispy. Ingredients on the inside, fresh, hot, great flavor. Savory? Down here, five fam. It's that katu sauce. I'm gonna open up that katu sauce. Sauce tastes right. <clears throat> We're gonna take that pot there. Beat the beer. Beer? Beat the beer. Beer? Hmm. I ain't gonna lie, because it's fried. This is definitely something I wouldn't eat every day. All that oil. But it's definitely good though. <clears throat> My water, you heard? H2O, you heard? Pour one for the GTF, you heard? But as far as the uh, katu sauce, it gives it a nice spice. The katu sauce is sweet. It got a sweet, it got a little kick to it. But it's also sweet. Hit that bit. Mm-hmm. That katu sauce. Oh, that breakfast patty. This is, so that was the ham, so this got to be the spicy sausage run. Y'all see what it's looking like. Y'all see the vibes. It's about to go down. We're gonna just start this one off with the katu sauce too. Katu sauce so far. Y'all see what's going on. Hit that baby. Hit that baby. I'm away! Mm -hmm. Can y'all hear that crunch? Nice crunch. Y'all see that sausage peeking? Everything good. Wherever they going at.
Um, this is good too. Same ingredients, but sausage. The other one, same ingredients, but ham. Which one do I like more? I ain't gonna lie, I'm not even into spicy food. But the spicy sa sausage one, I mean, it's not a crazy spicy. You know, it's definitely edible. So the spicy sausage one definitely got better flavors than the one with the ham. But I like the one with the ham too. You feel me? This is not my uh, first time at this place, by the way. Have I done a review on this place before? I think, I think I've done a short form video on this place before in the past, a while ago. But yeah, the spicy sausage is definitely better to me than the, than the ham one. But they both good nonetheless. Just different proteins. Deep, deep in. Hit deep in. Mm. The katu sauce? Sweet and savory? Mainly sweet. But nonetheless, it's good. And a katu sauce on point. What? Wash it down. Mm. Am I ain't gonna lie? I'm full. Like I said, these are two pretty big patties. If one don't fill you up, two definitely will. I have never heard of anybody eating three of these just katu patties back to back, you heard? If you do, you a beast, you heard? Stand up. I'm full. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. Mm. All right, fam, so there's a damage report. Breakfast pot there. Well, definitely worth the price, by the way. Pot there, cool there, you Breakfast pot there. The one with the ham. Well, they didn't really separate the prices. It just says the subtotal. Oh, so they must be five dollars a piece, because the subtotal is ten dollars and seventy cents tax. So the grand total is ten seventy. You feel me? So I'm assuming the pate is a five dollars a piece. Some might think it's expensive, but it's not. They definitely will fill you up. They'll get the job done, you heard? They'll keep your stomach from touching your back, you heard? But yeah, fam, ten seventy. And this concludes the breakfast portion of Haitian food for 24 hours. You feel me? Now we go into that waiting period. Gotta run a couple errands. I'll be back. See y'all at lunchtime. <laughs> GTF, we back, y'all. Right? Hey, GTF, I ain't gonna lie. I'll be so excited to be back, man. I'll be so excited once that two to three hour break is over, man. But yeah, man, we back with the 24 hour Haitian food video. Um, we did the breakfast portion already. Now we about to do lunch, all right? So, um, you know, there's a lot of good Haitian food out there. Um, and I ain't gonna lie to you, I was thinking about doing for lunch, I was thinking about doing griot. Griot is a Haitian dish, which consists of fried pork, uh, fried pork, fried pressed plantains, you know, peak leaves, if you get the griot complete, you know what I mean, you get, the, you get it with the rice and beans. If you get the griot sip, it's just the pork and the fried plantains, fried pressed plantains. But I ain't gonna lie though, like you feel me, it's one of the popular Haitian dishes and that's what I was thinking about going with. But at the end of the day, it's like when you talk Haitian food, everybody expect you to go with griot. I ain't gonna say everybody, but a lot of people expect you to go with griot because griot is a popular dish and it tastes good, you feel me? Definitely got some good flavorful griot out there. So a lot of people always expect that. So today I think we're gonna do something different. I don't know what Haitian dish we are going with yet, uh, but we gonna see when we get there. All right, fam, we pull it up right now. All right, fam, we in the plaza yard. We pulling up to this local family owned Haitian restaurant in North Miami, Florida. Man, come on, man, what you doing, man? I tell you, I don't want to drive, but I tell you. I tell you, 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 I
tell you, boy. <laughs> it's crazy out there, boy. They go another one. They go another one. They all don't know how to drive, bro. This one gonna just have to back it in. We're gonna just have to back it in. We're gonna have to back it on in. We here, man. We in North Miami, Florida with it. And we at uh, Everest, Everest Haitian restaurant, Jerry, over here in North Miami. We about to go ahead and get some Haitian food, man. Get that Haitian grub. You feel me? We about to get that grub. Grubbing on that Haitian food, Jerry. Nothing but good flavors, man. Y'all already know. Grub on sight. Don't cause no fight. Uh, all right, fam. We in the whip yard. And we got the grub yard. Oh, man. I don't know. Spilling, bro. Oh, my God, bro. Oh. Always something, bro. Always something. Huh? See? Well, good thing I got some napkin down here. Damn. Time to set up Grub Tip Mobile Studios! Alright, let me get this thing open. This is crazy, bro. I'm gonna go ahead and pop it open, man, and see what kind of damage is done, bro. Damn, bro! The rice is good. The rice is good. It's the legume spilling all over the place, man. Mm. Damn, damn, damn. My fingers. Good thing, boy. You need some napkins on that, bro. You gotta always remember to keep you some napkins in your car, you feel me? At all times. Good thing I always got me some napkins, bro, because I don't need this getting everywhere. Damn, fam, but this is not how I wanted to... <laughs> this is not how I wanted to start off the video, bro. Hey, GTA Plaque, man, this is all your fault, bro. Jeez, bro. This is not how I wanted to start off. Need some more napkin. Damn. See, fam, this authentic, bro. Like, you feel me? Like, I could simply just edit this out. Like, oh, man, I ain't trying to put this in the video, but uh, it's authentic, man. We gotta keep it real, man. Things like this do happen. This is one, one of the cons of eating in your car. Unfortunately, that place that I just came from is not really designed. I mean, they got like a table in there, but then they got the live music going on. But they jamming that Haitian music on the inside, bro. So it ain't really the environment to try to sit down and do no uh, review. But yeah, um, I ordered the legume. So let's open it up. Voila. Y'all see what it's looking like? It's the legume. It comes with rice. Right here, you see, it got two pressed plantains in here. It comes with the rice. Right here, I got the uh, dili cole. They call this. This is the rice, rice and beans. We call it dili cole, rice and red beans. We call it dili cole, here. So now, let me try to hold on. Normally, man, this is a mess, man. Oh, this this thing really messed me up. It's, it's messing my vibe right now. Man. This 
thing just leaking all over the place. Bro. So usually when it comes to legume, I usually order mine with white rice, white rice and uh, bean sauce, like either red bean sauce or um, black bean sauce. But unfortunately today they didn't have any of those. They had white rice, but they had it with pois france. Pois france is green bean sauce. You feel me? I don't, I don't rock with them green beans. You feel me? I don't rock with them green beans like that. I don't rock with them green beans at all. All right, fam, that close-up action, you heard? This that Dilly Cole right here. Y'all see it? And this that legume right here, you heard? With the two pieces of pressed plantains. Y'all see what's going on. Y'all drop them comments if you ever ate legume before, man. Yeah, fam, so that's the Dilly Cole with the legume. Like I said, I wasn't rocking with that pois fun, so I went. I picked the uh, red rice and beans. I said red rice and beans. I mean rice and beans with the you know I mean with the red beans or what have you. Um, but yeah, man, this is a legume. This is a Haitian dish. Like I said, I couldn't went with the griot, which is a popular Haitian dish, but I decided to go with the legume. Legume is another popular dish too in the Haitian community. You understand I me? Mean, legume is a dish uh, of mix of, of 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 a mixture of vegetables mashed together with some sort of protein in it, whether it's beef, chicken, pork. You know, some people put crab, some people put um, lumbi. Lumbi is conch, you feel me? I like mines with beef, so that's what I ordered with beef. Some people put pork in it, like me. When it comes to pork, the only thing I like pork really is griot, that's it. Like, I don't want no pork in my legume. My mama ain't never made legume with pork at the house, so it's like, it's weird to me to see people put pork in legume, you know what I mean? But that's just me though. I mean, if that's what you choose to do, I mean, more power to you, but it's just weird to me because my mom used to always put beef in it. Like, she might put some crabs in there or lumbi as well, but for the most part, for the main, the main protein was beef. So that's what I picked, beef, you feel me? Uh, also, like I said, it's a mixture of mashed vegetables, but two of the key mashed, two of the key vegetables that gotta be in legume is uh, militon with the chayote or chayote. I don't know how you pronounce it in English, if I pronounced it correctly. Chayote, which is a uh, militon, and then you got bilijin. Bilijin is eggplants, you heard? You gotta have those two main ingredients in, in um, legume, you understand know me? But yeah, man, we about to uh, we about to dig in. Uh, see, the thing is, too, I'm kind of happy that they didn't have the bean sauce because that would even make it harder to eat. Because the way legume, well, the way I eat legume, or you know, we, when we grew up in my family household, um, you know, you mix the legume, you know, you pour the you pour the bean sauce on the rice, and then you put the legume on top of the uh, on top of the um, the, 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 the rice and beans and you know what I mean stuff like that so in here they probably would have got messy in here you feel me oh, man where my utensils at bro oh, my God. this is getting to be a bother you heard I don't know if they gave me utensils but the bro the, the bag is you know it's sitting on the thing so I'm gonna use the GTF tool you heard you know I keep some tools on deck I got my own fork you understand me I keep the silverware, man. I don't even cap with y'all. So now, what I'm going to do, I am going to take some of the rice. Because this um, plate is open. This is a mound of rice. Look, look at this. Y'all see this crazy mound of rice? So what I'm going to do is pour some of the rice in the plate with the legume because I can't. Yeah, they, well, they, they load. That's one thing about the Haitians, boy. They love rice, boy. They'll load you up on that rice, boy. Ain't no doubt about it, sir. Ain't no bother doubt it. You understand me? So I'm gonna put some of the rice in the plate with the legume. And do it like that there. But we ain't trying to make no mess like that, you heard? Damn. Why they loaded me up on the rice for real? No cap. <laughs> oh my god. This is crazy. You see, now you see, I got the rice with the right rice and beans right there. Then I got the legume right there. So usually, what you would do, you know, some people probably don't do it. Some people don't like their food mixed together. So you take the legume. I mean, you put some on that rice like that. You feel me? You scoop it up together. Eat. You scoop the rice together with the legume and eat it like that. Yeah. You feel me? But before we dig into that, before we dig into that, I gotta do one more thing. I got Haitian soda, you heard? That cool like cool one. Be? Fruit champagne, you heard? That's that cool like cool one. 
You understand me? Gotta have that cool one on deck with that Haitian grub. You understand me? I ain't even gonna cap with y'all. You ain't got that cool one on deck. You tripping. I had to go next door to get some cup of ice because a cup of ice because they didn't have ice. So put the ice to make some water. I'm pour the water out. Pour the water out. Open that Haitian soda, that fruit champagne cool I cool one. You heard? Ooh, you heard that pop? That thing will pop, 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 pop. Goes my nine. Gotta pour one for the GTF. It's about to go down. That fruit champagne, boy. That thing that be. Mm. Oh my god. I love me some cool aqua one, bro. It's a must with a Haitian meal, fam. It's a must. It's a must. So I'm ready to put some of that legume on the rice. You scoop that bit. Then you hit that bit. I'm away! Mm. Mm. I love it. Scoop that bit. That's a nice scoop right there. Got beans in there, the rice on there, the legume on top. Hit that bit. Oh, oh! So far, wash it down. I ain't gonna lie, this legume was made with love, you Love, it's that authentic legume right here, man. The rice and beans fit the perfection. Got good flavor to the rice and beans. Not too hard, not too soft, not gummy. Just right with good flavor. The, the legume, savory. Good flavor too. The only time I really like eating vegetables, the legume. Real talk. They put carrots in it too. See the piece of carrot? It's a big piece of carrot. Hit that bit. Mm. Some good carrot. This is a very flavorful dish. Now the way they make it too is good for everybody. At that restaurant there, like I said, you can get it with whatever protein you want. But the way they make their legume, they make their legume separate. Like, they don't put meat in the legume. Now, if you want, you tell them you go there, you want legume with beef in it, they put the beef in there for you. But they also make it that way too for people like who are vegetarian and they don't, they don't eat meat. You can just get the legume by itself since they make the legume separate from the uh, protein. Damn, I got stuff in my beard. Damn. See another big piece of carrot. Hit baby. Hit baby. Well, you never had no legume. You're missing out. Cola like one. Big piece of beef right there. Wow, that's a big piece of beef right there. Here. And another piece of beef right there. Got the bone in there too. Hit that bit. Hmm. 
Got beef tender. Flavorful. You could tell that beef was marinated in that it piece, you Nah, they wasn't stingy with them beef at all, look. That's two big pieces. Plus that piece that I just had. Sometimes people might short you on that meat. They might short you on that beef. Well, I ain't gonna cap with y'all. Put some more legume on that rice. Getting ready to wrap it up. But I think you boy get about two, two more, two more bites in there. Get a piece of that beef. That'd be right. I ain't home and I ain't got no soap and water right now. Get to that beef. Call the corner. Wash it down. <sighs> Alright, fellow. I ain't gonna lie, they give you a lot of food though. I still especially with that mound of rice, I got a lot of rice left. He most definitely got enough for two meals though. He got that plate twice, you heard? Not for the one time, eat for the two time. All right, fam, for the damage report. So that legume was 1352. You see that was a legume, the rice and beans were the two pieces of plantains. I didn't eat the plantain because I ain't gonna lie, I'm counting four. But those plantains fresh though, y'all won't think I didn't eat them because they were no good. But no, them plantains are good. They fresh. They made them in front of me. I'm just, I wasn't that hungry. I don't eat a lot these days, to be honest with y'all. So yeah, so the leggy meal was $13.52, which is not a bad deal at all for all that food. And then the Kola one, the Haitian soda, was $2.08. $15.60 subtotal. Tax a dollar nine, grand total sixteen seventy nine. Yer, correction, correction, correction. My bad. Sixteen sixty nine. 